Hey guys, welcome back to SimTech channel in this uh, quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to uh, run a simple load flow analysis using Dixal and Power Factory. So to do that, we're going to model a simple uh, step down uh, transformer, a step down substation in that meter and with a load of our choice, that would be a feeder. So to go right onto it, I'm going to click on the data manager here. Okay, and I've got a couple of folders here, right? So you can create a new folder as you wish. So if I expand this folder, you can see there's nothing in here. So I'm going to click on it and say new, right? So this is where I'm going to add a new project. So I'm going to say basics. Okay, so this is the project name, basics hash one. Then I say, okay, right? So a new window popped up where I need to name the grid, right? So my grid will have the same name. So basics hash one okay so you leave everything as is you can change it if you want to so we go okay right now we into the environment where we need to start designing our network here you can see now i've got a project sitting under dig silent basics here if you expand it you're going to see all the project objects so i don't need this anymore i close it on my right here these are all your components basically your electrical component that you're going to need to construct a circuit now before we start constructing the circuit it's important that we know what we are actually building here so I'm going to quickly just design what we're going to construct here. We're basically going to model a simple step down substation, which we're going to receive power from a transmission line that we're going to model as our grid here. Okay, so that basically power coming from a transmission line. So it's going to uh, be connected to the first bus bar. So on your substation, you've got your incoming bus bar. So this bus bar, we're going to call it as the grid bus bar okay then we're going to attach our two winding transformers and then we've got another bus bar that is going to be the load bus bar okay and here we're going to attach a load so this is basically what we're going to model here now we want to uh, make this grid bus bar to be a hundred and thirty two kilovolt potential and the load bus bar to be thirty three kilovolt okay so this means this transformer here must be a step down 132 kilovolt to 33 kilovolt okay something like that so this is basically what we're going to model just to demonstrate the load flow analysis a simple one so it's going to be a short one so we come into our environment here so i'm gonna drag uh, a single bus bar okay i'll place it there and then i'm going to place a second one right then we need to change the voltages on our bus bar so double click on the bus bar you're gonna see that this one already have 110 kilovolt that's specified there so we're going to change it to 132 okay and then we just exit okay it said do you really want to change then we say yes okay then on the second bus bar here that's our load bus bar that we already said we're going to change this one to 33 kilovolt and we also say okay now you can rename the bus bar so we're gonna leave that for now so the next thing is to basically add uh your two winding or power transformer okay where is the power transformer right here okay so i'm going to place a power transformer okay so we place it to cubic one right there and on the second bus bar we're gonna place it to also cubic one right there good now let's zoom this a bit let's make it 200 percent okay and then we can center it a bit like this so now the next thing we need to add here is the grid obviously so we're going to connect our grid uh like that so we're going to connect it on cubic two okay now we've got the connection of our grid and then we exit okay now let's go ahead and connect the load as well so we're going to click on the load there and click on our bus bar then we go on to cubic two then we've got the load as well connected and then we exit okay now we've got everything so now we can start uh, inserting the values that we want to model for our substation so first off is the grid so when i double click on the grid and go to load flow you're going to notice the bus type here is say pv so pv basically means where your grid is connected this uh, bus bar here if it's a pv that basically means you need to specify the active power here and the per unit voltage for this bus bar now 
if you don't uh, specify then you need to change it to what a slack bus now a slack bus basically is like your main bus okay so this is a controlling bus the one that is in charge okay now if you are designing a model or a network which has a lot of uh, generators okay because it can also be a generator bus then one of your generator must have a slack bus so you need to specify it now if you don't change it here and dig silent obviously because you only have one generator or one grid on your network it's going to consider it as a slack bus okay so we're going to change it to a slack bus and we're gonna say okay so that's the only thing we're changing there so the next thing is we just need to rename our bus bus so go on to basics and here we just change it to grid and then you say okay and okay so that is our grid bus bar then let's go ahead and rename this one as well so that is the load bus bar okay and we're going to just right load there and okay great now let's come back here onto the transformer so now we need to model the design or the specs of this transformer here now if you know any transformer that you want to model and you've got all the information on the nameplates this is where you're going to be entering them okay right now before we model our transformer i've got an announcement to make and the announcement is that if you find this tutorial useful please don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up there will be many more tutorials coming of this nature. I thank you so very much for your support. Okay, so now, if you click on type, right, type, okay, so you can either select the transformer, right, or you build a new one. Now, we're going to uh, design a new one based on the information that we've got from a particular transformer nameplate, okay? So, now, the first information here is obviously the rating of your transformer. So, I'm going to say this is a 20 MVA transformer that is operating at the frequency of 50 Hz. Now, the high voltage side, we already said that it's going to be 132 and the low voltage side is going to be a 33 kV transformer. Now, we come into the vector grouping. Now, this is very important if you are modeling a real transformer you really need to keep up with your vector grouping because it specify how your transformer actually transfer power okay so now this we're going to select a simple one a dy uh, five okay let's take the phase shift to be five okay right now the next critical parameters are your positive sequence impedances as you can see this one is set at three percent and we're going to change it so that we can also have your per unit impedance ratio here so we're going to change it and we're going to add a value of 10 there and also on your zero sequence impedances we also going to change it into a ratio and we're gonna change it to 10 okay and your short circuit uh, voltage will be left at three percent now if you've got your characteristics you can enter them as you want you can go ahead and say okay when you're done entering all your parameters and okay right now you can come into the next one that will be your load remember we've already done that bus bar so if you click onto your load and you can come onto the load flow here so now this is where you need to specify your basic parameter for your load now here the input mode for your load is basically on default right so that basically mean you need to specify your active power and your reactive power you can leave your per unit voltage to one volt per unit or change it if you want according to your specification now your load is balanced you can change it to unbalanced if you want to okay so now let's explore here now default basically mean you need to enter all of these you can also change it to p and q that's basically the same as default now if you only want to specify the power that basically your active power then you can specify the active power now let's go ahead and say we want a 10 megawatt active power then you need to set up the power factor and it can even tell you here whether your power factor is inductive or capacitive power factor right now if your power factor is inductive then you know that your load is basically a motor you are driving a motor 
if your power factor is capacitive then you are probably driving a massive uh, capacitive load you you can uh, imagine what a capacitive load could be okay so now we're going to change the power factor here so that it can make a little bit sense to be 0, uh, 0,85 okay so that basically it okay then we can just say okay right so the load is also ready now we basically ready uh, to run a quick uh, load flow analysis here now let's go ahead and run the load flow analysis here so we're going to click on this uh, symbol here calculate load flow because we are now done with modeling here so we can go ahead and now if you want to specify any other specification here go ahead otherwise we are good to go with just execute and as soon as you execute you can see that we are already getting all the values here now if you know what you were expecting here based on your calculation and analysis you should be already happy or worried with the result that you are actually getting here okay so we can change the width here if we want to actually uh, show more okay and we can also change the unit here if we edit format right okay then we can show the unit double click 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 and we can show the unit as you can see that's a 10 megawatt of power and 6.4 megavolt ampere reactive of power okay that's a current that's flowing on the system here remember that is your normal current that's not the short circuit current now notice the current on the primary of your transformer here is 0 0.052 kilo amps and on the secondary it's slightly more because it is a step down transformer so you should have more current on the secondary so that it can comply with the transformer properties right now here if you come on edit format element you can see that we are only displaying three elements here that is the total uh, active power reactive and then the current now you can add or insert some row here so if you insert a row then you can double click on it then basically you can add in more element what you want to display uh, on your load flow analysis there so now let's say we want to see the maybe the face angle right so if you want to see the face angle of the current right just click on it okay then you say okay and you put it right there then you can see that the face angle of your current is being displayed right there okay so you can see the face angle from the current from the grid side is the same and on the other side of the transformer on the secondary your face angle of the current have changed right now if you want to export this uh, data here into a summary so you can basically come i believe on the output right so output calculation analysis okay so you can click on it and it say grid summary just go ahead and execute then you should be able to have some form of a report here that we're going to uh, expand uh, like this and you can see all the information here that is available for you to be exported somewhere okay so you can see we got a total reactive power here of 6.41 and that is a 6.2 coming uh, being absorbed by the load and there is a losses here of 0.21 reactive power now your total active power here is 10 comma uh, uh, megawatt of total active power so your power factor is there you can see your load is inductive it says there it's a motor because it is an inductive load okay so this is basically the report you can analyze it and add more element on your network now this is just a load flow analysis i've got a tutorial where i did a quick short circuit analysis stay tuned on to simtech channel there will be more tutorial of this nature where we're going to expand expand on this uh, power system network tutorial until next time cheers